Good evening, everyone. Today, the two-game road trip for the UNCW women's basketball team and coach Karen Barefoot concluded as they look to get back in the win column after losing their first game of the season. It was a big-time opponent the Seahawks faced this afternoon as they traveled up to Chapel Hill to take on the North Carolina Tar Heels. This was anticipated to be one of the toughest opponents the team faced, and that was the case today as the Tar Heels won it 86-60. to the Seahawks battled as Jenny DeGraff and Madison Rocky eclipsed the double-digit mark in points. Games like this are seen as measuring stick games where you can see just how good your team is. And Coach Karen Barefoot is pleased with what she saw. I'm really proud of this team for the heart that they showed. Uh, we dug a hole for ourselves, but we found a way to come together and uh, get out of it. And we played, we played really well together tonight. And I think that there are so many great things that can come from this. Uh, we out-rebounded them, which is a big deal for us. Uh, we got to the free throw line more than them, so we got more aggressive as the game went on, um, and we stayed together. The Seahawks will return home from their road trip this Friday against Catawba at 4 p.m. Now let's check in for the first time this year with Coach Kevin Keats and NC State. They were battling number two Arizona in the Bahamas. Now game tied late in the second half. Alonzo Trier goes coast to coast with the easy layup and transition to put Arizona up. Now the game's tied at 75 short thereafter. Pack looking to take the lead in. Braxton Beverly gets the three to go to put them up three. Pack still leading with less than three left. Beverly fills it to Armour Yurt seven with the Kareem Hook shot to add to the lead. The NC State would not give up. Just five games into his tenure, Kevin Keats and company knock off number two Arizona 90 to 84. Now for Keats's old team, Jay Estime is the very first recruit to sign and play for UNCW under coach C.B. McGrath. While some shy away from new coaches, Estime knew it was the perfect fit for him. Definitely him being a new coach and uh, him being it's his first experience. I wanted it to be my first experience too, so I thought we'd, we'd go on the journey together. And uh, UNCW is a great place. It's a great school and it's, it's a great environment for me. Part of that great environment is thanks to his teammates, including another player from Georgia like his teammate, Devontae Kaycock. Kaycock also helped sell him on joining the team and his teammate feels with this group, he can contribute. I think I can definitely contribute towards this team uh, defensively and offensively. Um, I can shoot the ball and uh, I can guard bigger players. Steve isn't one to shy away from guarding the bigger players, but when you tangle with the big guys, you learn this isn't the high school game anymore. Players are bigger and stronger, faster, so just getting used to that being the average is, is probably the biggest transition. At a young age, some freshmen can hide from the added pressure of being on a two-time defending conference champion team like UNCW, but a teammate embraces it. It's definitely something to strive for. I think it's a little bit of pressure, but I mean, without pressure, you don't really have anything to strive for. So I think I think it's pretty good. While he says he could play defense and looks like Jimmy Butler, one can only assume he wishes his name was as easy to pronounce because people can't seem to figure it out. Yeah, it's <laughs> countless. Um, it's always different, too. It's not just the same mispronunciation. It's always different. Now, as we mentioned, it's still very early in his career, but he hopes by the end of it, people will know his name. Estime. Estime. Now, Jay Estime and the team will play Friday, but tomorrow it's all about football on WWAY CBS. It's a Thanksgiving tradition as classic as eating turkey and watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade. At 4.30 in the afternoon, the Dallas Cowboys host their 39th annual Thanksgiving Day game. This year, it's against the Los Angeles Chargers. The Cowboys are coming off a very tough loss to division foe Philadelphia, while the Chargers put the beat down on the Buffalo Bills last weekend. Now, wins and losses aside, this is a very special game for all players to play in. Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott grew up watching this game as a kid, and he can't wait to be part of it again. Always about that time getting my plate ready or maybe going for my seconds uh, and watching the game. So, I mean, it's a, it's a blessing just going from um, watching the Cowboys every Thanksgiving to, to wearing the uniform. So, uh, excited to be out there and be part of that tradition. So grab that plate of food, find a place in front of the TV, and tune it in to WWAY CBS. The NFL today begins at 4, followed by the game between the Cowboys and Chargers, featuring a special halftime performance by Thomas Ritt.
Now tomorrow I'll be thinking about my family during that game, and I hopefully you'll be enjoying the game with your families. And however you choose to celebrate, we all hope you have a happy and safe holiday. We're thankful for you all tuning in every night right here on WWAY.